Hackslash Resurrection issue number six. So, uh, this is the uh, do or die issue. I've mentioned it um, in the last video that I did. Um, that was like very close to ending Hackslash. Uh, well, dropping this series because it's, yeah, it's been very, very bad. Um, <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is basically the do or die issue. This is good. Or it gives me at least something. I, I was basically begging for this series just to give me something, like any little thing to keep going. Uh, and if it didn't, this was going to be the last issue that I, I buy and I read. Um, which would be very unfortunate because uh, Hackslash is like basically my favorite franchise in uh, comic books. Um, though I will say that there have been a couple of other uh, franchises that have lately started uh, coming after that role. And uh, are very close to overtaking it. But, um, yeah. Basically, uh, I haven't been a fan of the series. So, let's see if this is... Uh, if this is going to keep my, my interest. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, it's, by, it's by Teeny Howard, who... I've, I've read only like one other thing from her, I believe. I read... Uh, Rick and Morty, um, Pocket Like You Stole It, which was actually really good. I did a review on it, and I actually enjoyed that. That was, but for some reason, I, I just, which is funny because Teeny Howard, like on her Twitter, calls herself the, uh, in real life Cassie Hack, and I'm just like, if this is, if you're the in real life Cassie Hack, why are you so bad at, <laughs> at, uh, keeping Cassie Hack from becoming an OC? Um... But yeah, basically, uh, Cassie Hack and her girlfriend, Lori, um, yeah, um, they rushed that romance really quickly, uh, and in the last issue, Lori's mother, um, attacked, all right, here's the stupid thing, okay, so they have the scientist who's creating all the zombies, uh, they capture him, Cassie Hack is about to finish him off, and then Vlad's like, no, you know, we can't. We can't kill him. We're not going to become the monsters. And it's just like, really? Just, this is a guy who's creating zombies and slashers and setting them loose at a kid's camp. And you're just going to let him go. And then, um, turns out that Lori's mother was working for him. And, uh, she attacked Cassie and Cassie bashed her with her, her bats. And, uh, Lori's mom died. And of course, Lori blames it all on Cassie. And it's like... Your mother literally just tried to kill us, as well as a bunch of little kids. <laughs> I know she's your mother, but yeah. Uh. <sighs> so Lori's mother runs off, and then uh, Cassie's like, "We got to go out and save the kids." But then this little girl is like, "Don't worry, you know, I'm, you know, she." Basically calls in, you know, this is Transformer calling Toy Box. We're doing Ghost in the Graveyard Protocol, Roger Transformer. And which basically means that, you know, the kids need to uh, hide and, you know, lie low. <sighs> so they escape. Of course, uh, they leave the mad doctor behind because, yeah. Because we... It's just basically for convenience sake. Because, spoiler alert, he's going to escape and cause trouble in the future, I'm guessing. Um, that's one thing I never understood. It's like, you have a villain right where you want him. And the heroes never finish them off. Um, never put a bullet in their head. Never, you know, um, stab him. Whatever tools you have. It's like even in slasher movies. You have the slasher down for the count. You have a gun or you have a knife or something. Stab the fucker. Like, why are you going to run away without making sure that he's dead? Well, yeah, it just, it, stuff like that always bothers me. It's like you have the chance to finish him off and then you do nothing about it. So, yeah, they fight some, uh, some zombies. We get more arguments between her, like, you know, like, Lori, are you okay? Don't touch me. You know, all this shit is because of you. Thinking about you makes me nauseated. I don't ever want to see you again, blah, 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 blah. It's like, no, all this isn't because of Cassie. All this is because your mom's a fucking psychotic bitch. <laughs> um, you know what? I'm just... As you guys can tell, since this is a, uh, a fun review, like, my time is, like, really short. I didn't have time to... I was going to do another review for another issue. 
uh, another series. But my time is like very, very short at the moment, so uh, I'm just gonna try to crank this out since I don't need to like do any editing other than get rid of the pauses and stuff like that. Um, but I mean, yeah, should I just like skip to the end? I'll skip some pages for copyright reasons. So, uh, yeah, of course, the evil scientist comes back while while Cassie and them are, are taking out the uh, the zombies. The evil scientist comes back with Lori's mom, who's all fucked up, and then he just like pitches her body into a fire. And um, Cassie tackles him down; he's about to beat him up when Vlad is like, you know, we got to stop. Don't do it. Um, so he's like, you know, no, no, no more killing. Uh, yeah, like I don't want to kill any more live people. I want you to believe me about how bad it is to be dead. Which is another thing. Um, not only is Cassie out of character, but so is Vlad. In the sense that Vlad... Like, something as simple as Vlad's um, speech... I want to say impediment, but... His, Vlad has a very um, unique verbal tick. He does the um, her, der... Like, you know, H-U-R-R-D-U-R-R. He, he does, like, a lot of, like, weird sounds when he talks. And not once does he ever do this. Not only this issue, but not all the previous issues. Like, Vlad talks very normally... Um, you can easily give his dialogue to someone else and you wouldn't even know the difference. And that is a sign of poor writing. If you have dialogue that fits any character, then that is very, very poor dialogue and either get rid of it or, um, rewrite it so that that's not the case. Um, but that's, that's basically how, how this is. Uh, Vlad's dialogue can literally go to anybody. Um, Cassie is very, um... As you can see from uh, from my um, Vampirella hack slash crossover reviews, Cassie has a very unique um, dark humor about her. Like she's she's not super serious, but she's not a full blown comedy act. Like she has, she has like a nice balance between the two. I'll say she's very much like um, Ash and Evil Dead Two. Um, Ash and Evil Dead One is too serious. Um, Ash and Army of Darkness is too comedic. Ash and Evil Dead 2 balances the two out. Like, he's kind of like a mix of both. That's very much what Cassie is like. She's kind of like a mix of both. She has some humor. It's very gallows humor. Um, but she, there's some, there's a seriousness to her as well. This is just full-blown, serious emo angst. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. It's just stupid. Like, I mean, okay, they, they let the hero go. And here's the thing that's somewhat saved the series for me is um Cassie is like uh you know like I'm not ready for a relationship uh you write about everything else um basically she is just kind of like you know what me running away from being um a slasher hunter me trying to be someone that I'm not isn't working let's just go back to doing what uh we used to do and that's basically road tripping around the states fighting off slashers. So I'm hoping that with this arc done and with this ending, that the next issue is going to be basically more, um, it's going to be more like, like the previous hack slash, uh, series. Uh, so let's just say that this issue is basically just the ending did enough that I will buy the next issue, but that issue ha is basically, that issue is going to be the do or die. Um, there's not going to be any more, well, I'm going to keep going, I'm going to keep giving it a chance, because I'm starting to sound like, like a battered housewife or something. <laughs> um, I shouldn't laugh at that, because that's a very serious thing, but um, yeah, this, this issue basically, it did enough, so I'm like, alright, I'm going to give you one last chance, but if the next issue, if we're back to to out of character Cassie, out of character Vlad, um, the two of them doing anything but what uh, calls for their character, and just a, a poorly written story, then that's it, I'm done. But, um, so yeah, I, I don't want to say I recommend this issue at all, because I don't. In fact, I would, I would actually say skip this. Skip this issue altogether, maybe 
start with uh, if I mean if you want to get into this series, maybe we'll start with issue seven. I'll I mean I'll do a review on that when that comes out, so I'll let you guys know. But uh, this whole first arc, uh, six issue arc, is just terrible, and um, yeah, uh, I basically I basically am going to almost treat issue seven as like its own thing and just pretend that this never happened <laughs> basically um the very ending and just basically them saying like you know what everything that we did like hasn't worked for us so let's go back to doing what we used to do i wonder if that's actually tinny howard admitting that she fucked up and that the previous um issues um we're just uh, uh, a step in the very wrong direction. And this is basically her saying, you know what? I fucked up. Uh, it's time to write the ship and go back to doing what made people a fan of the series in the first place with issue seven. I don't know. I'm hoping that's the case because if not, if she didn't learn her lesson, then uh, issue seven is going to be it for me. But we'll see. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry that it's short and rushed. Um, I will make it up for you guys by putting out a video on Wednesday. So, take care everyone. Uh, hope uh, to see you in the next video. Later.